Hey, are you looking to build your business credit like a boss? Well, you're in luck. I've created this awesome ebook where you can learn how to build business credit and get over $500,000 in business funding. It's on sale right now, $40 on sale. Original price is $125. I am giving you guys this at a highly discounted price, but only 100 copies will be sold at this price. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. You are already a boss, so why not get that business credit like a boss? Hey, Credit Cousins. Before you watch this video, make sure you click the link in the bio and also in the pinned comments to join this amazing group that I have created for you guys. It is a group that we can talk about almost everything you want to talk about from Navy Federal, investing, how to build business credit, how to build credit, how to repair your credit, and so much more. Click the link in the bio and enter your name and email address and watch out for an invite via email. The first 150 people will join for free. So hurry, don't forget to sign up. Hi everyone, it's your girl designer Soapbox and today I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering more of your Navy Federal questions that you guys have. So one of the questions that you guys wanted to know is I had the platinum card, which is the platinum visa card at Navy Federal now for two years. If I upgrade my card, do I keep the history? So yes, you do keep the history if you upgrade your card. Only thing that is actually going to be new is the credit card itself along with the credit card number and the security code behind the, your credit card. Uh, everything else will be the same. Now, some credit card issuers will actually keep the same perks or carry on the perks to the new credit card. It depends on each issuer. Some may actually not give you the perks that the original card has to offer because you upgraded it. But it all depends on the issuer. Some issuers are different. So you may have to just check with the lender and ask them, do I keep the same perks? or do they go away? However, when applying for a new card, then you will create a new history. But if you have the platinum visa and you decide to upgrade to a flagship card or an Amax card during the product change hack, make sure you watch that video, then you will still keep the same history that you started with your platinum visa. So I hope that is very helpful for you guys. So you guys wanna know if I was on another member's checking savings account for six months, so I'm guessing they're an authorized user on someone else's checking account and savings account, and you just got your own account with Navy Federal, should you still wait 90 days to apply for a credit card? So there is no wait requirement when applying for a credit card at Navy Federal. What I always like for you guys to do is make sure you pre-qualify before applying for any credit card and also make sure you watch a lot of the Navy Federal videos so you understand what a low tier card is and what a high tier card is at Navy Federal and this basically helps you with your likely approval rate. So the low tier credit cards are the Platinum Visas, the Cash Rewards, the Go Rewards card. The high tier cards are the flagship and Amex cards. So those are cards that you will likely need to have good to excellent credit if you know you don't have a relationship with Navy Federal prior. So this is a really good question and I believe I answered this question in some of the videos that I have posted but this is a good question to talk about as well. Can I request a credit limit increase as soon as my secure card graduates? Or do I need to wait another 91 three, which is 91 days or a three billing statement to request my first credit limit increase? So yes, you do need to wait additional 91 days to apply for another credit limit increase after your credit card has graduated. Because when your secure credit card graduates, it's giving you that automatic credit limit increase to an unsecure credit card and also they'll deposit the money that you put on that secure card back to you. So you will need to wait additional 91 days to apply for another credit limit increase on that new unsecured credit card. So I hope that it's beneficial for you, but you can apply for a new credit card once that secure credit card has graduated, if you haven't did so, and you have reached your 91 days of applying for that previous credit card, which is the secure credit card. 
So this person says, my rewards card limit is still $500 and I've had the card over a year. I requested a credit limit increase four to five times and they keep denying it. Letter stated I reached my max limit. I have one other card with the flagship for $10,000. I'm not sure what to do. Any suggestions? So yes, if you keep getting denied for a credit limit increase, there's two things that you can do. Make sure you're asking for a credit limit increase after 91 days of having that card, which it seems like they have had the card over a year. So if they say that you reach your max limit on that credit card, what they're really saying is that they're not saying that that's the max limit of that credit card. They're saying this is the max that they're going to give you at this time. So I'm not sure on your credit profile or if your utilization is high on other credit cards or, or if you have a high installment balance. There's reasons why they're not actually giving you that limit and it could be of a high risk. So I will focus on your utilization first if you can bring that down or focus on some negative stuff that's on your credit report. If you don't have neither of that, here's a hack that you can do. You can also combine your $500 credit card with that $10,000 credit card and make it a $10,000 and $500 credit card. Combine that limit so that you no longer have that cash rewards card and then apply for a new credit card, which will ultimately probably give you a higher limit credit card and you won't be stuck trying to apply for a new credit card limit increase at that time. So that's what I would do personally. I would try that hack. Make sure you watch the low tier product hack to learn more on how you can actually do that. So I hope that's beneficial for you. Again, that's what I would do. I would combine both of my credit cards into one credit card, which I will combine it into the flagship that you have for 10K. So it could be 10,500. And then I would apply for either the platinum visa or apply again for the cash rewards card or you know just keep that card and then keep increasing on that card and apply for another card later down the line so that's what i would do so i really hope this video is helpful for you guys make sure you leave all the questions that you guys may have down in the comment section don't forget to sign up for the group that i have created for you guys i do look forward to seeing you guys in that group make sure you look out for an invite link very shortly and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget guys make sure you abuse that like button comment down below and subscribe if you have not i promise you you don't want to miss another video and don't forget guys i love you all bye hey have you heard about the charge off and collection express removal guide that i have available a step-by-step -step guide to remove negative charge offs and collections from your credit report rapidly these steps are easy and you don't need a credit repair company to do this it's all step-by-step -step that you can do on your own Check it out, it's 50% off right now. You don't wanna miss out at designersobots.com or you can check the pinned comments or link in the description below to find that link. Make sure you check it out. It's 50% off right now, guys. Don't miss out, hurry, hurry. Hi everyone, this is Designer Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express ink removal guide and also the late payment removal guide so just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50 percent off remember this ink removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours and then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast super fast actually um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for supporting and make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to add me on OnlyFans where we discuss tips and hacks that we can post on YouTube at OnlyFans.com forward slash designer soapbox. Don't forget to add me on Instagram at designer soapbox. And don't forget to check out those ebooks that we got on sale, honey, at designersoapbox.com where you remove your hard inquiries, late payments, collections, and more. So make sure you check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, guys, I love you all. Bye.